Hey guys, it's Issa. Um, the other day I posted a video and I was trying to, I'm trying to do these um, little compact mirrors and uh, made with the Petri dish. Hang on one second. So I've made with like the Petri dish uh, style, I guess. But I saw this on Artsy Mad Woman. Um, she's super cute and I really enjoy her channel. She tries all kinds of stuff. She actually uses like real flowers. I'm not that good, so I used some fake flowers. Now, in a previous video, I showed you this. I told you it was super too thick, and um, didn't really work out. But just to get the idea, um, I put the mirror in it and then domed it. So, kind of like a compact mirror. Um, then I made a video of using these little marbles, um, in one, and it did not, let me show you up close, I put too much color in it, so, I mean, you can see them, but it's too much color. So, I thought it was going to be really transparent, so you can see, like, up close and stuff. So, I'm not going to use this one, because no sense you keep wasting it. I don't like it like this. So, I'm going to try a different one. So, I'm just going to do, like, a clear, clear resin, and I'm going to let it cure. Uh, I maybe put a little bit of like bling it sparkle in it um, This one is a new one that I'm gonna put Some this is dried and I'm gonna put some alcohol inks in it If you do it in layers, it looks like there's a whole lot of depth So this is what it looks like so far so I'm going to put a layer on it and then I'm going to put some alcohol inks. Um, I'm going to use a transparent alcohol ink from Color Art, the Voila. These are alcohol inks that I have made myself with 99% alcohol. I'm going to put a couple drops of the Andromeda, also by Color Art and a couple drops of the Bling It Violet, also from Color Art. And maybe some white, I don't know. And then the third one I'm gonna do, cause I'm gonna try to make them all the mirrors, uh, is I'm just gonna add some gold leaf in the resin. Um, and then pour it in, that way it doesn't like totally sink. Uh, I saw this, instead of just placing it places, I saw Sharon uh, Lindley from Vivid Days. She saw it from somewhere else, I don't know where it originated from, but in order so that the Gold flakes say stay suspended in the resin instead of floating to the top or floating to the bottom. If you mix it in your resin before you pour, then it, it stays suspended. So from here, we are going to, I got my marbles in here already. We're going to try this out one more time. See if I can't nail it. Um, if you're interested in learning this yourself, and not from me, go over to Artsy Mad Woman, her um, YouTube channel, and check her out because she is super talented resin artist. And I thought that this idea 
I think she got the idea from one of her followers and then I got the idea from her. So, it's kind of like playing to see, you know, what's going to work best. So, I think I'm going to put a little bit of sparkle in this, but not a whole lot. And I think I'm going to just use, for the marble one, I think I'm going to use some Lorez Suncatcher homemade alcohol ink that I made. But again, I'm going to put it in the resin instead of dripping it because I like that look better. I am using, sorry, I forgot to tell you, ClearCast 7000. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. It's for jewelry, craft, coating, and casting resin. It is sold by the Epoxy Store. No, the Epoxy Resin Store. So we're going to check that out. Um, I have some other casting resin on order right now. I'm going to give, uh, I think it's KS's casting resin. I think that's the one I'm ordering. I ordered. So I'm just going to put a couple drops of this in. It's just going to make it, oops shimmery. It's super shimmery. Look. See that? Really shimmery. You got like these little gold shimmery tones to it. All right. So this is the one with the um, marbles. So not doing any color in it because I want to be able to see the marbles. And then not real worried about the bubbles in this one because, well, there's marbles in it, so I don't think you'll be able to see them. But once you put the mirror on, you want to make sure you get all the bubbles out. So... Just want to make sure that all of them are covered. So yeah, that will be pretty. Um, this one, actually, I'll probably just use the same. I'm gonna use the same cup. Okay, careful. Don't breathe when you open this. And don't have it anywhere near your projects like I do. See, we're just gonna dump it. This is a huge piece, I don't need that. Whoa. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I am definitely making a mess. So once you get your gold leafing in your cup, and then you're stirring it around, it's going to uh, mix in real nice. And see how it stays suspended. I think I want a couple more pieces. All 
Okay. We can breathe now. This is imitation gold flakes. I got um, copper ones too. They're very pretty. All right, so I am also going to put a couple drops of the sun catcher in it. Not that it needs it, but why not, right? More sparkle. Oh, that looks pretty in there. Okay, so see how it stays suspended? Okay, now we're going to pour this in there. Just want to make sure that it's touching all the sides. This isn't very even. Hang on. Whoops. Shit. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. Although it went up the side. Ugh. Okay, so that's that, that's that, and now we're going to dump a little bit of ink in here, but I want to try something instead of like a Petri, I think I just want a swirl. Um, I'm going to put some of this resin in here. This one's probably going to have to be thick because one of my flowers is poking through. Okay, so now that I got the base coats down, I'm going to quickly hit them with the torch just to get some bubbles out. Don't want to hang out there too long because you don't want to burn your mold. Okay, so let's see. This one... Damn it, I just, I hate you guys. Seriously, don't ever buy these little bottles. Look at what I'm doing here. See these little bottles? Don't buy them. They suck. Super bad. They leak. Horribly. And if you do, take the lid off and then shake. Because this lid does not stop anything.
All right. So this is a transparent, like, violet color. So I'm just going to add... couple drops here and there. Now there's no shimmer in this. Oh, I did it again. This is the Bling It Interference Violet. I'm going to dump that on those purple voila spots. Voila. I call it voila. It's actually viola. All right. And then this is Andromeda, also color art. This is in the Diamond Galaxy collection. And this is the one that I want to add. It, um, when you pour these, they, uh, the little BB that's inside them falls and blocks it. All right. So I want it to be transparent, but I want it to be gorgeous also. Which it is. So you can totally see the effects in it. So I kind of just want to drizzle. Just make these little cool designs, right? And then I'm just going to leave it alone. Because I messed with it too much the last time and I ended up turning it into mud. So, alright. So we're going to leave these till tomorrow. I have... More resin. What should I do with it? What should I do with it? Um, you know what? Let's make another Petri dish. We'll move this up. We'll make one out of here. What are we going to do with it? Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let's see. Do we have any? I have some cool beads. Let's do some cool beads. That I got at Hobby Lobby. Hang on, guys. How about some daisies? Let's do some daisies. Just the dollop of daisy. I'm going to cut the wire because I don't want everything. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of resin in here. Just to coat the bottom.
Now when you're adding stuff like shells or things like that, you kind of want to prime your things in resin so that they don't get bubbles. Get rid of the bubbles already here. Check them again. Kind of nervous about this one. I got some alcohol ink in it. Safety first, guys. I'll use my heat gun on that one. All right, so what I mean by prime, you don't want to put this in your resin and then it holds bubbles, right? So, kind of want to get it all covered in resin first and then put it down. That way it's covered and you're not adding bubbles. Just gonna add them. What are these little beads? You throw some little beads in there, I suppose. Come with it. Let's not waste beads, right? And you can move them around to wherever you want to. And you might not even see him in the end, so push them down. And yellow, what do we want to add to this color? Gold. I might as well add some more of the reds. Sun catcher, right? Now, because there's a coat down already, this is going to like sink and it should give some pretty cool effects. Maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, so always have something when you're doing anything like casting or whatever, always have something else available because if you make too much resin, you know, you're kind of on a time clock with it and then, you know, you don't want to waste it because it is very expensive. So, yeah. See, even this little itty bitty bit, I do not want to waste. This isn't even. Hopefully them swirls stay.
and then I can um, show you these when they are done. I think I want to add a little bit of maybe some iridescent beads in here. These are just uh, iridescent uh, acrylic gems. I'm sure they will sink, but we'll see. We will see. Let me, uh, just going to make sure that they're all, all covered. I mean, who knows? You might not see them. You might see them too much. We're just experimenting. It's your Petri dish. Do what you want. All right, let's get rid of some bubbles. Anytime you add or stir into resin, you're going to create more bubbles. So, all right, let's try this, guys. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to let that, the alcohol from the alcohol inks dissipate a little bit. All right, guys. So, <coughs> I will bring you back when these are cured and uh, show you how they went. Hang on one second. Let me take you out. Okay, so this one's the one with the marbles. And this is the gold leaf with the Lorez Sun Catcher. This is the Sun Catcher also with the color art bling it. This is the violet bling it interference from color art in the transparent viola tint with Andromeda all from color art and then this one's just got some daisy beads some iridescence and we'll see how that goes so I'll bring it back when uh, when they are ready to unmold thanks guys bye Okay, guys, this is just going to be a quick uh, uh, quick little clip I'm going to add to the end of the Petri dish mirrors that I'm doing. Um, I showed you my attempt one. It was very thick. I needed to thin it out, and I need to use casting resin because of all the micro bubbles. Okay, so this was my first attempt. I love this, but hate that it's so thick. Um, this was my second attempt, and it was the one with the marbles. It somewhat looks kind of cool, but I didn't really like it too much. So I moved on to these. So I did another one with marbles. And then all kinds of shit just started going wrong. So I did not film what I had to do because they were all clear, right? I poured the, the gold leaf one, the marble one, um, the one that had like the daisy beads. But then I figured out <laughs> that I wanted to keep them clear so I could see all that stuff. And then I grabbed the mirrors out. And the back of the mirrors are dark blue. So you can totally see the back of the mirror through them. So what I did <laughs> was before I attached the mirrors, 
I just covered them with um, coordinating glitter. Uh, I used the Tacket, Eileen's Tacket, and I covered them with um, glitter and rubbed them off and then put them back in the dishes and put the mirrors in. So they're curing now. I have to keep coming back and popping bubbles. They do pop, but to keep raising so that I am using the um, the master cast so I'm not digging it I mean some people might really like it but I'm not having good luck with it I'm getting micro bubbles everything so I will come back tomorrow when it is a uh, I got this stupid lock on. Ah. So I'll come back tomorrow when they are cured. But I'm just going to babysit them. I got to take the torch to them again. You can't lay the torch on good because. So I'm hoping that they work out. I'm hoping that they turn out because this is a lot of resin. <laughs> and then if they don't turn out, I am going to. Send a message to Artsy Mad Woman and tell her that she is the queen, that I concede, and I'm not trying it no more. <laughs> so, yeah. So, attempt one, attempt two, attempt three. So, I'll see you soon, guys. Hey, guys. Okay, I'm back with these resin um, molds. I'm attaching this to the video so you know what I'm talking about because you're already watching it. <laughs> anyway, so this was my first attempt. Not only <laughs> did it come out with bubbles, but I just picked it up and I must have set it in resin somewhere. So anyway, there's that one. And then this one was the one with the with the marbles that you couldn't really see because of the darkness. So we're going to unmold these ones. Now in my last clip, I told you I had to put glitter in them because they were the back of the mirror. I'll show you, hang on. The back of the mirror, blue. <laughs> so you can't really have a transparent one when the back of the mirror is blue. So keep that in mind if you want to try these. Try to get a mirror that doesn't have a bright backing. Which I didn't think about until I put it up against it. Okay, it's still a little thick for a purse compact all right we'll unmold these and then I will do close-ups all right so this one oops must have got a little bit close with the heat gun Oh, there it goes. Let's just snug. Okay. This one's a little thinner. Uh, very cute. I love that. Um, I still have micro bubbles. I have a new resin coming. Hopefully, uh, the mirror still works. It's not as, see how thick my very first one was? <laughs> so, the 
this one is still a little thicker. This one's okay. It's very cute. Like I said, I'll show you close-ups in a minute. This one's got some texture in it, and I do not know why. Maybe new resin seeped under because I did it in layers. I don't know. All right, so this is the marble one that I was super excited about it being clear so you could see the marbles because of this, right? But with the red and the gold glitter, um, you can see the marbles. See them? It's, uh, again, too thick. But I mean, these, they don't have to go in your purse, you know, they can just be like on your countertop in your bathroom or something. All right, let's do the extra or the, the last one. All right. Okay, this one's like almost perfect size. It's a little bit thinner. See, it's even thinner than this one. This one is the size you want to be at. Um, wow, that's pretty. Really like that. All right, so I got, uh, let me come over there and give you close-ups. I'm feeling a little bit better about them. I feel like experimenting with them has cost me a lot of money because resin is not cheap so all right so we'll go with my favorite one first so see you can still see micro bubbles but the mirror still works see hi it's not too thick one's the one with the um, gold leaf flakes that I busted all up and mixed in the resin and then I put the black glitter so yeah that one's beautiful and then see how it stays suspended and it doesn't like just sink to the bottom or float on the top when you mix it in your resin it stays suspended cool trick I learned from Sharon Lindley was it Sharon? Yeah, Sharon. One of Sharon's uh, resin tips and tricks, I think she calls it. Sharon's tips. I don't know. Thank you, Sharon. All right, so this one. This one is the three little flowers. With the green and gold background, I thought that that was because there were flowers so you need a little bit of green in there this one's not too bad you can see the sides super cute I like that micro bubbles on the mirrors I was gonna just lay them in there and not cover them with resin but I thought um, I don't know. I thought maybe like if it gets knocked around, it might just come, you know, it would just come out if it was just stuck on top. This one's super cute. I love that one. All right, here's the marble one. Mind you, I wanted it just clear so you could see the marbles. And around the edges, you can kind of see them real good. But see where the back of the mirror is, where it's darker? <laughs> That's where... I had to cover them up better because of the the mirror. But you can see them in here. I think that's cool. It's very thick though. But you can see them better than you can see. 
it'd be super cool if I didn't have the mirror. But I wasn't even thinking about it. So either way, it turned out cute. I love that color. This is red holographic glitter from Mr. Nola's Glitter. And then this one is cute. It does have a bubble in there, but I think it's okay. And I love the holographic glitter on the back of that too. And then it's just straight up hollow glitter around the edge. So pretty. But like I said, see, you can see where the mirror is. So whatever you're going to do in here, you know, just make sure that your darker mirror part, you know, is covered up kind of. So yeah, this one's still a little thick. I'm getting the thickness down pretty good. But this is, see, way better, right? This is good to just have in your bathroom or even in your car. This one fit in your purse. So, all right, I'm a little bit more, um, uh, what is that called? Encouraged, I guess. Because I know that I'm heading in the right direction. But at the same time, I am a very expensive experiment. But if I keep them thin, that would be the best. So, there you have it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you try this out, please uh, let me know how it turns out. Share your pictures. Um, also, go visit Artsy Mad Woman. I think it's... She's YouTube Artsy Mad Woman, Instagram. All of the things Artsy Mad Woman. So, go check her out. She's super cute. Um, very upbeat. And she experiments with a lot of stuff also. So, uh, I give her props. She works with real flowers instead of, you know, shoving stuff in here like this. <laughs> but, uh, yes, I, I'm, I'm encouraged now. I was getting really kind of pissy about the whole situation. But I think she did a trial and error moment too, like for two or three days so i hope you've enjoyed it uh try making one share pictures with me and uh come join us on our facebook page united we pour with tammy and lisa and uh i guess that's it until the next time guys all right i'll talk to you later bye